When it comes to surfing, balance is the key. If you get your balance right, then everything else falls into place. But if you don't get it right, and if your balance gets just that tiny bit off centre, then the result is always the same. Wipeout. I guess what I'm saying is that overall, the balance of my life here is pretty right. Or at least it was pretty right. Somehow without me even realising it, everything's suddenly gone out of whack. School isn't school anymore. Instead of concentrating on my work, I'm concentrating on... You okay? Yeah, sure, fine. Thanks. It's the same at training. No matter how hard I focus, my attention always drifts to where it shouldn't. Check it up, Cassie. It's a run, not a sleepwalk. Lack of concentration, lack of focus, it all added up to one thing. I was becoming seriously unbalanced. <laughs> What's going on with Cassie lately? No idea, but she's definitely acting vague. Yeah. Oh, check out that awesome towing surfing. Fantastic. Wouldn't that be a buzz? I used to go out with a guy who was into towing surfing. You're kidding. Are you still friends? He lives in Victoria. Don't think he can help you. Ah, oh, pity. See, I reckon Towings and us could make a beautiful partnership. Hey, how long were you going out with him for? Not very long, about two months. Two months longer than I've been out with anyone. Really? Yeah. Like, I've been on dates and stuff, but nothing serious. Why did you break up with him? I guess we didn't have that much in common. You need to have similar interests, otherwise things just sort of fizzle out. Ah, uh, Brigitte? Two more birthday cards for you. Thanks. OK. Is um, Adam around? I haven't seen him. Birdwatcher's Quarterly. Oh, of course. I'd forgotten Adam's a birdwatcher. Elusive Lewin's Rail makes a rare appearance. Right. Lauren's right. Sharing interests is what it's all about. Shared interests is the basis of all good relationships. What's to eat? I am starving. Um, there's some leftovers from last night in the fridge if you want. Epic. Um, by the way, this Bird Watchers magazine came for you. Oh, cheers. I have always been fascinated by birds. You have? What am I saying? I hate birds. I got bitten by a duck when I was four and I've had a grudge against them ever since. Oh, they've got a whole article on the Lewins Rail. The what? Ah, uh, the Lewins Rail? Mm. Uh, can I? Sure. Oh, aren't they amazing? So elegant. Mmm, they're incredible. <laughs> oh, it says here there have been a few local sightings. Now, wouldn't that be amazing, to see them in their own natural environment? Mmm. Uh, mind if I have a read? Go for it. Thanks. Sharing a common interest is fine, assuming you both share it in the first place. But having to develop an interest in someone else's interest so that you can then pretend that it's your interest, well, that's another thing altogether. But I figured if I'm interested in someone, then their interests are a part of what makes them interesting. So becoming interested in their interests must be a good thing. Even if it meant I couldn't talk properly anymore. Ah, uh, binoculars? What? Uh, normally I use my own pair, but they're at home. And not home as in here, I mean my other home. <laughs> home, home. You, you want to borrow my binoculars? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, as long as you're not using them, otherwise that's fine. I can just sneak up close and go naked. What? I mean, use my naked eye. <laughs> cool. Thanks. It's powering out there. Yeah, Cassie, what are you doing? I thought I saw a white fronted turn. A what? Oh, no, hang on. Could be a dotterel. How's it looking out there? Really good. There's some cormorants hovering around the point. Yeah, cool. Could I borrow those for a second? Yeah, sure. Cheers. Now, that one out there is either a dotterel or a tern. What do you think? Not sure. So it's definitely better over near the reef. Catch you in a second. 
How long has Cassie been into bird watching? About five minutes. <laughs> something I think Cassie's developed a seriously new interest but boys actually I think it's just one boy in particular you really think Cassie and Adam the trouble with new interests is that you really have to put in some hard yards if you're gonna get up to speed on them it involved getting down and dirty, I figured that every uncomfortable, soggy step was taking me closer to the real person I wanted to get to know. And it was working. Suddenly, I was becoming fascinated about the same things that fascinated him. It was like a line tying us together. It was definitely a nest. It was sort of like this cup made of grass and reeds and it had all this stuff pulled over the top of it like a roof. And they're incredibly secretive, but I am certain it's a Lewin's rail. A Lewin's rail? Is that like light rail or a post and rail? Uh -huh. Oh, when were you such a bird lover? Uh, I'm just interested, that's all. Birds are fascinating creatures. Not that fascinating. Uh, speak for yourself. If you want to see a bird up close, you should ride your bike down Elphick Street. I swear the magpies use your head for dart practice. <laughs> well, they're only protecting their nests. And I'm just trying to get to the beach. Look, I'm not talking about you common birds. There are all these birds out there. Birds like turnstones and tattlers, and they all migrate from places like Siberia, and they're just amazing. Ask Adam. Yep, they're, they're definitely out there. See? I'm not the only one. Tell you, is Cassie keen or is she keen? Do you think Adam knows? Doesn't seem that way. Mm. Maybe Cassie needs some help. Lauren. Well, she told me she's never really had a boyfriend. Maybe she needs us to, you know, help move things along a bit. It really is amazing what you get to know about a person when you dig down into what interests them. The more I got to know about birds, the more I got to know about Adam. And the more I knew, the more I liked what I saw. What is that racket? Cassie's doing some research on the internet. Sounds more like she's under attack. I think it's great she's doing something to take her mind off things. What things? She's always been so close to her family and stuff. So? So she really misses them. I think it's a lot harder for her than the rest of us. Really? Is she okay? Yeah, you know what she's like. She just gets on with it. Poor Cass. Don't say anything to her, though. She'd kill me if she knew I'd mentioned it. Yeah, 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 of course not. Is there anything we can do? Just be there for her. Anything we can do to take her mind off it. That's the best help. Yeah. Sure. Okay, listen to this one and see if you can guess what it is. Sounds like a chicken with its head cut off. It's a purple swamp head. And they look like this. I downloaded all these bird calls from the internet and I'm gonna use them to attract the real thing. Hey, um, Cass, it's Saturday tomorrow. You know how Bridget and I are supposed to be on cleaning? Oh, no, you do not. I am not swapping. I should have known you came in here for something, young lady. I'm not asking you to swap. I'm asking you to keep an eye on Adam for us. Adam? Uh, what for? He just seems to be a bit down in the dumps lately. I hadn't noticed. What about? I think things might be getting on top of him a bit. You know, training, housework, moving out of home and stuff. Mm. We thought we should try and get him out of the place for the day, take the pressure off. It's just that we've got this housework to do. So you want me to organise something? Could you? Yeah, sure, happy to. Oh. 
Might be better if it's not all of us anyway. You know what guys are like? We yeah. can't afford to Go make on. it obvious. <laughs> Look, don't worry about it. I'll sort everything out and he won't suspect a thing. Cool. Great day out there. Mmm. Got anything planned? Well, thought I'd start by waking up. And anything else? Uh, not so far. Good, because I've got a little surprise lined up for you. Mm, surprise? What sort of surprise? A surprise surprise, in that if I tell you what it is, it won't actually be a surprise. <laughs> what are those, eh? Mm -hmm. You will need shoes, sunscreen and a hat, and I will take care of the rest. Sounds good. How'd you go? All organised. Adam and I are going bird watching. Bird watching. Okay, not everyone's cup of tea, but it's something Adam and I have in common. And you're right, you know, he doesn't seem himself lately. Don't know how I could have missed noticing it. Cass, maybe you should do something a bit more fun, sort of. I mean, if he's a bit down and everything. Look, I know bird watching doesn't sound like much to you, but Adam and I get a real buzz out of it. And we love it. Hey man, just saw Kenneth Westland down on the beach, reckons there's an awesome break over at Green Point. You gonna come? Nah, I got something else on, eh? What? Just helping somebody out, that's all. Well, can't you help them out later? He said it was six foot. Nah, it's pretty important. Might see you later, though. <laughs> okay. Bird watching? You've gotta be kidding me. She believes he's really into it. Oh, get out. <laughs> she packed a picnic and everything. Hang on, why have they decided to spend all Saturday together anyway? Maybe they really like each other. Or maybe someone's playing Cupid to get them together. I wonder who that could be. Honestly, Bridget, you do go on sometimes. As soon as we hit the swamp land, I started to feel right at home. Even better, Adam was feeling that way too. Hey, you girls coming down to Green Point? Doubt it. Why is there always a mass as well when it's our turn for domestic duties? Must be some crime we committed in a past life. Oh. Hey, guys. I've got an idea. If you two help us out here, we'll get it done in half the time and we can all go to Green Point together. Yeah, um, I have a better idea. How about we just go without you? Oh, come on, we're nearly finished and then all we have to do is dust, vacuum and clean the bathrooms. How long will that take? With your help, an hour, tops. Fine. I'll vacuum, but I'm not doing the toilets. I'll do the dusting. Yes! yes. <laughs> Cassie? Cass? Are you going to actually tell me what we're doing here? Sure. We're off to catch a rare glimpse of the Lewins Rail. That's the surprise. Uh-huh, no promises. But I'm sure I saw a nest here yesterday, and I think we have a pretty good chance of spotting the owner. How cool is that? Heaps cool. You nearly done in here? Yep, all done. Cool. You guys have serious time management issues. You said this would only take an hour. Sorry, I'll just dump these when we go on. <sighs> Forget it. Surf's flat. Oh, are you kidding? Oh. Nope, just called Surf Watch. The onshore wind's blown it out. Great. Anyone up for some checkers? I'm really sorry, guys. I feel awful. Tell me about it. What are we going to do? I have no idea. We have to do something to make it up to them. Anyone else and I'd be thinking how terrible they must feel. But when you share a common interest, all you can think of is how much you're both enjoying yourselves. See anything? Um... No. On the other hand, I did promise I'd find a rail. I hope he's not getting disappointed in me. What if I can't find the nest? He's going to think I am the biggest idiot. I think the nest was near here. I'm sure of it. Great. That baskety thing in the reeds. You see it? No. What does it look like? The baskety thing. I thought you'd seen one before. 
No, never. Wow. This must be really exciting for you. Yeah. Hey, let's set up a base and we'll watch it from here. Sounds good. Now, I downloaded the calls onto my iPod last night. Hopefully the nesting mother will hear it and make an appearance. Hmm. Sandwich? Thanks. Don't you just love it down here? It's so peaceful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful day outside, boys. Seems a shame not to be enjoying it. Well, it's not like we didn't plan to. There are more ways to enjoy the beach besides surfing. Yes, true, but I've given up buckets and spades. Sandcastles aren't really my thing anymore. What we're trying to say is we've got an apology waiting for you. But you have to come down to the beach to get it. Well, what do you think? About what? Ta-da! Ta no way! Are you serious? You organise this for us? Come on, completely. We do owe you an apology, but it is for us as well. We couldn't resist it. I don't blame you. Does Gary know about this? Gary agrees. This toe in surfing on a beach break is perfect for practising air manoeuvres. Who reckons you'd go for it? <laughs> this will be wicked. Yeah, I'm up for it. Dude. So. <laughs> oh, oh, what kind of day is Hey, man, how are you? Nice to see you, man. Nice Oh, he's bored, I can tell. He probably thinks I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, if we see anything, I'd love to get a shot. Yeah. Wouldn't hold your breath, though. Oh, please, God, let a bird appear. Any bird doesn't have to be a Lewin's rail. A swamp hen will do. Basic Cassie, you're a failure. He knows you're not a real bird watcher. He's just being too polite to say so. He's... See that? What? Over there, I think I saw something. Grab the camera. At last! This is the moment! I'm so excited! I bet Adam is too. Can you see it? I'm coming. Hold on. It's Hold on. gone. I can't move it. Man, what happened? What happened to your head? My head's a fire. It's my foot. It's gone between the rocks. <laughs> Here, get on me. So, so. Going back there. I'll leave. I'm so sorry, Adam. Oh, shut up. Don't even think about it. Look, why don't you just leave me here? You'll go much faster on your own. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not leaving you anywhere. I'm glad we opted for housework this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bet you so how much did this set you guys back? More than you want to know. Oh, well, we'll pay half. That's only fair. Nope. It's our treat. We stuffed up the surfing and it's only fair we make up for it. Well, in that case, Guy and I insist that the next weekend is on us. Oh, the next two weekends. Yeah, right. So what would you and Bridge like to do? Just name it. Well, we were talking about joining a ballet class. Yes, we were. Uh, actually, ah, I just remembered. 
I've got to go to Antarctica next weekend. Oh. Right, me too. Yeah, That's we better start really. packing. Yeah. yeah, we better start packing. So, yeah, uh, come on. So, we got to go. Win. Sorry. You are you absolute, absolute wins. We love it. Ballet. She's where? In hospital. It's, it's okay, it's only a sprain. But she's a little concussed too. How badly? Well, she was fine when I left her, but they're keeping her in for overnight observation. Okay, I better go call her. So how did it happen? Well, she sort of slipped. What were you doing? Bird watching. Bird watching? Since when were you two into bird? Look, it doesn't matter what they were doing. What matters is that Cassie's in hospital and we need to get over there and cheer her up, right? I didn't know that bird watching was such a dangerous sport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it is with me around. What did the doctor say about your surfing? Um, they said my ankle should be fine in a week. I don't even know why they're keeping me in here. Well, he did hit your head as well. It's just a precaution. Everything's fine. We'll be back to pick you up in the morning. In the meantime, why don't you relax and enjoy having the TV remote all to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. See ya. Bye. Stay cool, Cass. See you, Cass. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Adam, hmm? I'm so sorry for putting you through all that today. Oh, forget about it. Yeah, but I probably put you off bird watching for good. Um, Gas, I know you went to a lot of effort organising everything for today, but the truth is I'm not really that interested in birds. You're not? Sorry. But what about the Kawara Bird Watching Club? I only joined that club because there was this girl I was sort of interested in. A girl? Uh, I figured if I pretended to be interested in what she was interested in, then maybe she'd get interested in me. You did? Yeah. Pretty extreme, hey? Uh, and what happened? Well, I only went to one meeting and she didn't even show up, so I never went back. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. No, why didn't you say something? Well, because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, so you let me bore you stupid instead? I wasn't bored. I enjoyed it. Especially the company. You did? I've always liked it. From day one. Anyways. See you tomorrow, hey? Can you believe it? After desperately twisting myself inside out to become someone I'm not, it turns out he likes me for who I actually am. Cassie, if you were any dumber, they would lock you in a room and throw away the key. Thought we might like a couple of keepsakes. What? Our little expedition yesterday. <laughs> you were supposed to be taking shots of birds. I was. This particular one is very rare. <laughs> it's amphibious too, see? You little rat! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare show this to anyone else. Too late. I printed a whole heap of them. <laughs> Everybody loves them. <laughs> Me especially. It's weird, isn't it? No matter how hard you try, you can't help but sometimes lose your balance. And when you do, you can quickly lose sight of who you really are. I've got a lot better idea of who that person called Me actually is now. And if she's good enough for my friends, then maybe she should be good enough for me too. It's one thing to talk about balance, though. It's another thing to achieve it altogether. And if I need to be reminded of that, then the proof is right here.